Assalamu alaikum of all our team good. So today's our topic is going to be compound microscope. So compound microscope has two converging lenses, the objective and the piece, and it is used to investigate structures of small objects. Flowing are some features of compound microscopes as well as it gives greater magnifications than a single lens. The objective lens has a short focal length f for dot one centimeter. Uh, the eyepiece has a larger focal length f dot of a few centimeters in them. Magnification can be determined through ray diagrams as well as objective forms a small image I1 in, is inside of them. It is equal to the distance between objective and I piece D is the distance of final image from the I F naught and F naught A and the focal lens of objectives and piece I piece respectively. Uses of compound microscope is used to study bacteria and other micro objects. It is also used for research in them. Uh, several fields of sciences like microbiology, bot botany, uh, geology and genetics in them. These are the things objective lens has smaller focal length than the eyepiece as well as distance between the objective lens and the eyepiece is greater than it is used to see very small objects in them as well as we can see that. So working or refracting telescope, the ray diagram refracting stroke of is uh, when parallel rays from a point on a distant object pass through them. This image acts as an object for the eyepiece. A large virtual image is formed by the eyepiece at a large distance from the objective lens. Uh, this virtual image makes an angle theta at the eyepiece. Magnifications of a refracting telescope can be determined through the ray diagram as well as. The image formations in human eye is human eye acts like a camera in place of the film the retina retina records the pictures like uh, records the picture the eye has a refracting system containing a converging lens uh, the lens forms an image on the retina where retina which is a light sensitive layer at the back of the eye in the camera the distance of lens from film is adjusted for proper focus but in the eye the lens changes focal length light enters the eyes through a transparent membrane called the cornea uh, the iris is the colored portion of the eye and controls the amount of light reaching the retina. It has an opening at its center called the pupil. The iris controls the size of the pupils in bright light. The iris contracts the size of the pupil while in dim light they is enlarged. The lens of the eye is flexible and accommodates uh, objects over a wide range of distances in them. The camera focuses the image of an object at a given uh, distance from it by moving the lens toward or away from the field. The eye has different adjusting mechanism for focusing the image of an object onto the retina. Its silvery muscles control the curvatures and thus the focal length of the lens and allow objects at various distances to be seen in them. If an object is far away from the eye, the deviations of light through the lens must be less. To do this, the silvery muscles relax and decrease the curvatures of the lens. Thereby increasing the focal length, the rays are thus focused onto the retina, producing a sharp image of the distant object as well as in them. So an object closer to the eye uh, than the near point uh, appears blurred for people in their early 20s with normal vision. The near point is located about 25 centimeters as well as. From the far point of the eye is maximizing distance of a distance object from the eye on which the fully relaxed eye can also focus. A person with normal eyesight can see lights away such as the planets and stars and thus has the far point located at infinitely majority of the people do not have normal eyes in this. So hope you like this video. See you in next with better topics.